Rebuilding the World Trade Center was challenging in many ways, but the overall goal was clearly we had to create a better version of New York. We needed to commemorate what had been here and the people who had been lost, but we also needed to create something which represented the character of New York and its hopes for the future. Basically, we built a city within a city, and it's the most beautiful piece of uh, property, piece of uh, facilities that ever been built. Having more buildings which give you more areas to put retail, to create activity, spreading the office space over a few different buildings allowed you to create new public areas. The designers of the memorial and the designers of the skyscrapers wanted to create a friendly, democratic space where people could do a wide swath of things. Grieve, certainly, but also converse, have lunch, sit in the sun. That vision defined the architectural model for the redevelopment of the entire area. The master plan for the World Trade Center calls for five skyscrapers. The largest, of course, is one. These skyscrapers surround the memorial. Just behind one, you see seven World Trade Center. At the base, between two and three, we have the transportation hub. Each of the buildings really needed, first of all, to work together, but probably most important, they needed to work in relation to the memorial. The memorial and those footprints of the original tower needed a balance. We also wanted to do something that was uplifting and looking forward. The descending height sequence, the way that the entrances to all of the buildings face the memorial, and the way that the streets which have been opened up between the buildings guide people down towards the memorial. This provided a different level of accessibility to the site, uh, which the entire public welcomed it. Many people don't know a Seven World Trade Center is actually a half-pint prototype for One World Trade Center. The design and engineering and construction teams came together at Seven. They developed extraordinary technologies there. All of these caused the New York City Building Code to be rewritten. And they took those technologies and they brought them to one. Bringing people together was easy because everyone wanted to be involved in this project. The level of partnership cooperation in this project was unprecedented. We knew that in order to be able to build such a monumental project, there is a significant amount of thinking has to go through it. We very came quickly to a, a decision that we would locate critical services for the entire function of the space in the safest possible locations. What you don't see below ground is just as massive as what we see above ground. Every one of these buildings is literally dependent on every other building. They share roofs and walls and foundations. We had to produce commercial buildings. Part of the thought process of commercial buildings, uh, very honestly, is they have to be rentable buildings. From a structural engineer's and safety point of view, if you could build a building that had no windows and all concrete, it would be the safest place on the planet. Um, but clearly, tenants are demanding a lot of daylight. In order to be competitive in the market that we're in, you need to flood the space with light while still making it safe. The social fabric is very important in how it fits into the entire lower Manhattan landscape. The entire World Trade Center site is so popular, it is packed with people. Downtown has really become a 24-7, 365 days, live, work, play type neighborhood, attracting everything from law firms and financial services to technology, advertising, media. So all of a sudden, the demographic shift in that direction is making downtown the natural business center of New York. No matter how terrible it was, um, I think New York is most definitely stronger now. And, the, and it shows. They didn't merely rebuild the World Trade Center, they built it better. Every single building down here, state of the art, inspiring, incredibly strong, timeless. There's so much to love down here.